Hello, so I'm going to reshoot this video. I've had some problems with uh, some of my videos not showing up on YouTube the way I expected them. This was certainly one of them. So let's talk about Google Translate. So uh, about a week or two ago, I hailed a cab ride. I was out shopping and decided to take a cab home because I'm lazy and got in the cab and at least my perceived best perfect Spanish described the address that I'm going to, my home, and the cab driver said, see, sí. we got in the cab, we drove off, drove around the block a couple times, drove a couple side streets like he was looking for something. He pulls up in front of a bank, stops, and says, Banco. Okay. Well, he, for some reason, thought I wanted to go to a bank. I don't think I said the word bank or described a bank in any way, shape, or form, but he did. So, it was a little frustrating. What we've got here is failure to communicate. But there's tools for this. And I think everybody knows your number one tool to go to for everything nowadays is your phone. It's got your flashlight, it's got, you know, the translator, cards, everything you need is right there. So, I pulled out Google Translate and went on, got home, no problems. So, a lot, I see a lot of people using Google Translate. Certainly, I use it a lot more than I should. I'm working on Spanish, but I'm pretty bad at it. Um, a lot of the uh, locals will use Google Translate to translate to English to talk back to me, which I appreciate. But sometimes it doesn't work too well. And I thought I'd talk about some of the issues that crop up with Google Translate. So, in this video, you know, we're going to talk real quick about the features that are in Google Translate, all of which you probably know. There's a, a cool one that you may not know. I've seen a lot of people not know that, certainly my wife. Uh, and talk about some simple ways to make the translations more effective. So let's get started with that. First, let's look at Google Translate itself. Google Translate comes in a web and a app version for your phone. We'll spend a, some time here with the app version. As you can see, we've got a couple options here. You can go into conversation mode where you can split back and forth between the uh, two languages that you're trying to do. You've got an option for scanning, which is really cool. You can point it at a sign and just scan the data that you uh, want and see it translated. That's uh, super handy. If you go to the language section of Google Translate, you can pick from a plethora of languages, many of which I've never even heard of. We have, as you can see, Spanish to English here. And if you note the little download button to the right of the language screen, you can download your languages for offline use, which is super handy because you don't always have signal or you're on an airplane. This has some limitations. Offline mode only works when you're typing the text. It doesn't have the voice recognition or the camera scanning. But when you're offline and you just want to type to want, uh, another person, it's really great. And really, you can get by with just uh, typing in text. You don't need the, uh, uh, the voice-to-text option. So working offline is really handy. Now that we see Google Translate, let's talk about some a couple common errors that I've seen with it that um, I think folks can do better on. For one thing, stop talking so much. Shorten your sentences. You don't need to write a dissertation to be translated. Short, direct to the subject, using proper nouns instead of pronouns when possible because those tend to translate easier. Keep it simple, avoid slang. Even things we can't think of like are necessarily slang, like I'll show an example of using the term the mall, which makes perfect sense to most uh, gringos, doesn't really translate great into Spanish uh, if you're wanting to go to a specific mall, even one near you. Um, and I'll go over a couple others, but basically short, Avoid pronouns, use proper nouns. If you're typing, use text and punctuation because capitalization and punctuation, I mean, that's important because that changes, completely changes how some things are translated. And of course, keeping it short and in general, keeping it simple, the KISS principle. Let's look at two examples. Okay, let's have some fun examples here. Let's say we just want to uh, describe some place to a taxi driver. Um, I want to go to my place by the mall. Probably not the best thing, but as you can see, it translates rather interesting. You wouldn't think mall is slang, but it sort of is because that crops out to central commercial. 
Well, there's probably a lot of places there. Also, place translates to casa, which is house. It could be home, it could be anything, but you could make it more specific. So let's change how we translate this. Say, I want to go to my apartment in a building. That really narrows it down. Now they know they're looking for a building, and I'm not going to say the mall. I'm going to use a specific mall because mall is slang, but Mall de Pacifico is a proper noun. Now this is going to get him in the area a lot more precisely than the original sentence. Now let's have a little fun with some language weirdness. So let's say you want somebody who's texting that, yes, you know, you go, are, are you going to the store? Si, voy la tienda. But si translates to a couple different words depending on how it's accented. Without any punctuation or anything, it goes to if. But if you put in the, here, let's do it again. So C, you go, if I go to the store. Well, what do you mean if? You're, are you going to go? Capitalize it, put in some punctuation, and now the sentence translates much nicer. Yes, I'm going to the store. I hope these examples are uh, humorous and um, B helps you use Google Translate better. If you like this video, these types of videos, hopefully this video will look better than the last one of this I put out, um, hit the subscribe button. I try to toss out some videos of uh, travel issues that I've run into, things that I um, have fun with as I'm traveling around as a digital nomad. Um, thanks for watching and hope you subscribe. Take care. Bye.